We are seeing all the time people risking their lives to go and do things that usually normal people, ordinary people will not do. This is from MBL. You can see that the website shows that somebody went near the eruption volcano of the uh, Reckonis Peninsula, the K1 crater, cooking sausage beside the gases that are you know, emanating from this area. Uh, we have our latest news about this uh, from the Indonesia. A woman fell into a crater. This crater of a volcano is famous for having blue flames when it uh, is burning. The you know the lava is burning in, inside the atmosphere. Certain elements like uh, sulfur. These are areas seismically active. There are hazard maps available uh, to them. For example, for this uh, K1 crater that I mentioned, there is a clear hazard map. People are not allowed near it, yet despite that, they go there. Why it is such a thing happening? I think the first thing is that they don't uh, trust the risk assessment of offered to them by the authorities. Uh, there is a lack of respect for authority, I should say. And there can be as many reasons for this. One of them is that politicians, if they lie, they are not accountable, it seems. So they gradually erode away the confidence that the public may have in them. So the political system should actually find a way to restore the respect for the authorities. Those who are in public service should actually watch what they are saying. At the same time, people should value their life. You know, um, if you are, if you get injured or anything, you should uh, remember that you will live with that. You will not die probably immediately. And also you will be a problem for others around you. This is what the people don't, many of them actually don't realize that. At the same time, uh, when it comes to issues of uh, compensation and insurance, they must remember that when a risk assessment is published and that is available to people, risk assessment means that the responsibility is with you. If that risk assessment that was accessible to you, you are responsible for your own decisions. And if you do that and you get harmed, unfortunately, people get harmed, you are responsible for that. And you have to live with that for the rest of your life if you survive.